Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web, and today we're going to uncrate the Shoe Birth C5. Before we jump in and tell you a little bit more about the Schubert C5, go ahead and subscribe for me. That helps us keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. And if at any point you decide you'd like to purchase a Schubert helmet from speedaddicts.com, well, we would appreciate that. And there's a link in the description below to shop for this helmet or any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. So Schubert, in case you didn't know, these are the Germans. They are known for making exceptionally quiet and high quality touring helmets. They also have a new adventure helmet, the E2 that just came out and a new S3 full face helmets coming out soon. So whenever someone calls up and they want the quietest helmet that they can buy, we point them towards Schubert. More on exactly how they accomplish making a very quiet helmet in a bit as we do the deep dive here. So the C5 is a modular helmet, okay? This is a high quality modular helmet with that premium price tag coming in at 749 to 849, depending on if you want solid or a graphic like you see here. This is a worthy contender to the showy Neotech 2. We are gonna produce a video that shows the side-by-side -side matchup. Uh, more on that later. This is a fiberglass shell, making it relatively lightweight at just under, just about under four pounds, depending on which size you pick up and put on the scale. That's pretty equivalent to the other premium full face or modular helmets out there on the market. Modular helmets are never the lightest because you have more um, mechanism built into the helmet to get that chin bar to flip up. This helmet is DOT only. They did not dual homologate. The helmets sold in Europe are EC2206, whereas the helmets imported here are DOT only. Uh, I've talked to Schubert about this, and what they've said is that the shell on the DOT only helmet is slightly more reinforced to pass the DOT test. Otherwise, the helmet, the guts, very, very similar, if not identical when it comes to the safety of that ECE 2206 helmet that is sold in Europe. Just a, few, a quick note on that. The head shape on the C5 is a little bit closer to the older C3, and it is an intermediate oval head shape. They have sizes extra small through 3X. The helmet does run pretty true. So go buy that Schuber sizing chart that you're seeing at speedaddicts.com. And remember, if you buy your next helmet from Speed Addicts, not only will you look smarter than all your friends, but we have no cost returns. As long as you're in the lower 48 states, the helmet's brand new in the original condition, you will get a free return label with a couple clicks. You'll be able to exchange this or return any parts or gear you buy at speedaddicts.com. Real easy like, give us a shot on your next helmet and we'll make sure to treat you like family. One quick note before we jump into the full feature set here, something Schubert wanted me to pass along to you folks is that if you are in the United States, importing a non-DOT helmet from a dealer outside of the United States will result in you not having a warranty here in the States. So they wanted me to pass that along. In addition to it not being DOT and technically not street legal in some states, it will not be warrantable. So beware of that. When you're purchasing a helmet, if you're in the United States, make sure you go with a US dealer on your shoe berth purchase. And the same holds true with many other brands. Okay, let's jump in and do a deep dive here. The first thing I want to talk about is the noise or lack thereof. Shoe berth is known for making a very quiet helmet. The C5 is rated at 85 decibels at 100 kilometers an hour or 62 miles per hour. And that is on a naked bike. They do a lot of aero work to get that done. You see wind turbines up here on the screen. You have little fins down here. They've done a lot of wind tunnel testing to make this helmet exceptionally quiet. Now, when it comes to noise, it is a very subjective situation when it comes to helmet noise. People ask us all the time about different helmets and how loud or quiet they may be. What we always tell them, everybody's head and face is shaped different. So it is bike and rider dependent. But that said, Schubert is known for being very quiet. Now, one other tip, make sure if noise is important to you to get a nice snug fit out of the box. A lot of times what will happen is someone will buy a helmet that's a little too comfortable out of the box. After break-in, it will become a little bit more loose. It tends to vibrate a little bit more when it's not fitting nice and snug on your head. So make sure, get that snug fit. If you're buying a shoe berth, noise is probably important to you. So keep that in mind. So let's check out the ventilation system here. So down low, we have two different vents. This one is gonna blow air in and onto your mouth through the chin bar. And these are nice big ports here. This flipper is gonna get air up onto the shield that will help it from fogging. So easy, easy to work with gloves on, just a panel flipper and then a slide. This is two position on or all the way off. 
And then up top, you have a three position ram air intake right here. So that's center and all the way back. Now, when we go inside of the helmet underneath this, you're gonna see these two giant ducts that uh, you can see right through the helmet. So the air intake ports are directed right at your forehead, right where that sweat can happen if you're in uh, cooler or warmer temps. So ventilation, ducting, very smart. We'll show you more on that here in a minute. Face shield, extra large eye port that is that 2206 ECE compliant eye port. Extremely great peripheries here when you open this up. And of course you are, are also getting this drop down sun visor. Sun visor is actuated over here on your left hand side. So we're gonna go ahead and whoops, pull that back to bring it down, push it forward to bring it out. Now the, the, the coverage here is nice and low. A lot of helmets with drop down sun visors drive me crazy because they kind of hit me right at the bottom of my vision and that's just, it makes it basically worthless. You don't want to use it. The C5 is giving you nice and low coverage. It's going to cover your whole field of view there and uh, that is the name of the game. Now you can do quick shield changes with this. You're going to flip this, uh, this lever here up on your primary face shield, your exterior. You're going to flip that up and then roll this back all the way up. I got to get the other one here. So if we roll all the way up, they will come right out. So there's no, you know, big leverage moves or, or forcing this thing. Their shield release mechanism is pretty smart and easy to do. So let's pop that back into place. There we go. Slide it down and you are ready to rock. The face shield comes with a pin lock insert, not floating around in the box for you to figure out. They've actually gone ahead and attached it right out of the box, which is cool. So this is ready to roll. And in case you're not aware, pin lock inserts help with fog. So that's going to create a dual pane uh, mechanism. You can see inside of this face shield, that little ring there, that is the pin lock insert. It's gonna create a dual pane face shield for you to reduce or mitigate fog in extreme riding conditions. And uh, if fog's an issue, that is a great thing. This thing is pretty friendly to most eyeglasses that we've tried on with it. It's another subjective item, depends on the face, depends on your eyeglasses, but you shouldn't have problems with, uh, with most eyeglasses there. Another thing I like is that they have the uh, the face shield tabs on both sides. So you don't have to remember which side it's on. You can reach with either hand and go ahead and deploy the face shield. The detents are here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I skipped one, maybe even a seven position. They are a little on the light side, <clears throat> like I've seen some other folks say on the web here, but they will do the job. The other nice thing about the face shield is that it does have memory. So when you go to open this chin bar and you flip your chin bar to the all the way up position, when you go to bring this back down, it will stay where you left it. Pretty cool feature uh, here from Shooters. Let me get that locked all the way down. Now, as far as the ventilation on the back, you do have a static exhaust vent. It's gonna help with that Venturi exhaust, vacuuming that hot air out and getting the cool air in. And it's it's hidden underneath this, uh, this subtle little air dam in the back. So you notice there's no big crazy um, arrow or different weird angles down here on the bottom. They're trying to make this really sleek and quiet as it cuts through the air. Now over here on the side, this is Bluetooth ready. So inside the helmet, there are already speakers pre-installed from the factory. You do have to purchase the brains of the unit, which plug in here, here's your controller, and then here's your battery pack and brains compartment. That is a Schubert SC2. It's gonna run you 349. It's a fully mesh capable unit that's made by Senna. It's equivalent to the 50 series. So this is a high end unit and there's pros and cons to that. It is expensive because it is full mesh and they're highest end stuff, but usually someone's gonna uh, shell out the bucks for the premium modular helmet. They will want the top of the line comm system. Uh, that is the only option. They have one unit for the C5 at this moment. So you'll have to pony up if you wanna run that. Can you run other comm systems? Yes, you can. You can install that up above here with an adhesive mount. If it's a sending unit with the same connections for these speakers inside, you can plug it right in. Now you do have to navigate this neck roll. Otherwise, you can remove the speakers uh, pretty easily. So we'll show you more on that once we jump inside here. Okay, that does it for the outside of the helmet. Let's look inside. So the first thing you're gonna notice on any Schubert helmet is that it has a very stout neck roll. This is the secret to success when you're trying to make a quiet helmet is getting that really nice seal underneath your jawbone. So it has a very pronounced neck roll all the way down and it goes all the way across and it has this extra flap here uh, across the uh, quick release chin strap. So this is, this is where the magic happens. This is what keeps a lot of that, that wind noise and uh, sound coming from your bike 
out of your ears there. So we're gonna open this up, <clears throat> also show you, it comes with this lip, but also this extra chin curtain here, which is Velcroed in. You can go ahead and remove that. If you want maximum sound deadening, you're gonna wanna keep that in place, but that's what the chin curtain looks like. And as you notice, I did remove this uh, chin strap quickly, but uh, no D-rings here. We're using a quick release chin strap. Very easy to jump in and out of this helmet. So let's take a look inside here. Before I start to take this helmet apart, you can kind of see the liner. This is an eight piece liner, including the neck roll. So this liner system, this comfort liner system is highly customizable, not only for thickness, but it will also adjust for shape. The differences are quite subtle. You know, if you have a very narrow head, a long oval, um, don't expect miracles here. They are subtle differences to get someone from a good fit to a great fit. And we sell all those different pads and liners to help you customize your C5 here at Speed Addicts. Okay, this is the part where I take apart the helmet and this could take a second, so bear with me here. We're gonna start with the cheek pads. All right, and we're gonna slide these off the chin straps like so. Now, as I do that, you're gonna notice their extra piece of material here. This is to keep the helmet from rolling off your head. This is something that I've only seen from Schubert. So it's an extra safety feature in case of an accident that's, uh, that could be violent. This is gonna help keep the helmet where it should be, which is on your head. So pretty cool safety feature there. Let's go ahead and remove this other cheek pad. So here's what the cheek pad looks like. You'll notice it has this little Velcro flap that's gonna cover that extra ribbon here on the, uh, the backside of your chin strap and real nice place to be. It almost feels like a, a high-end Alcantara, kind of a synthetic suede material here. Real comfy, moisture wicking and all that. You'll notice the pad set. This is backed by the occipital, occipital bone in the back of your head. This is your back piece liner. You'll notice it has a size measurement here. Totally customizable. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, we're gonna keep digging here. On the sides of your head, there are, this goes right about here. There's another side piece. We're gonna keep removing. Keep digging, keep digging. All right, there's your other side. Now, the center piece or the mohawk here that's still in place. You notice those big, those big ducks up there. There you go, you can see right through to the back of the studio as I move that around. That is part of the ventilation system. It's gonna blow a lot of cool air right in and on your forehead. Now, if you're in cold weather situations, well, Schubert's thought of that. If we peel this mohawk back, there are extra flaps here to deploy and block those ports because even when the uh, ram air is closed, you can still get a little bit of leakage and it's gonna help seal up the helmet. So if you're riding in cooler temps, all you have to do is grab this piece here. Let me show you if I pull it out and deploy the top secret cool weather flaps here. Now, if you're in warmer weather, you just fold that back and keep it in place. That's how it comes from the factory. There is your top piece. Now the EPS foam in here is multi-density. That means different densities were used when making the EPS crunch, crush liner. Different densities perform different and different impacts, low energy to high energy. You want a multi-density liner to perform best in different scenarios here. Okay, <clears throat> and of course the dreaded shoe berth uh, security or uh, <laughs> disclaimer tag, I guess, shall we say. So this thing is enormous. You know, I, I don't think this is like the mattress tags or something. If you cut this off, um, you know, the police will probably show up at your door. So I've heard some people do that, but I'm not recommending that you do so. Up in the front area, those are those ducts that I was talking about, channeled EPS system. And then you have another port in the back for that hot air to escape and get that full Venturi exhaust. And that about does it for the Schubert C5 it is their flagship modular helmet from Z Germans. This thing's gonna come with a five-year warranty, which is Really nice to see when you have moving parts, not only the drop down sun visor, but the flip up chin bar, it's nice to know your investment's protected. Should you have any problems, as long as it was purchased in the United States, the Schubert Warranty Department will be there to back you up for a full five years, which is about three years longer than the industry standard and the typical kind of useful life of any given helmet. So what do we think? 
you're getting just about everything you could ask for. So you got the pin lock insert, the drop down sun visor. This thing is comm system ready. It is exceptionally quiet and comfortable, nice place to be. You still got questions, don't worry. Speed Addicts are standing by at speedaddicts.com through email, live chat, and phone support. If you've already got a C5, let us know how you like it in the comment section below or ask us any questions you might have there. Speed Addict will get back to you right away. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.